Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about building boxes and we're just going to start our geometric unit about transferring from two-dimensional shapes to three-dimensional shapes. So a lot of this is going to be review, a lot of it's going to be vocabulary. We're not going to go too crazy this week. Um, I'm really hoping to do some cool projects with some three-dimensional ideas and skills. So uh, the vocab is it's kind of boring, but necessary. All right. So, what is a cube? <laughs> this is so difficult, really. <laughs> a cube is a six sided polyhedron. Now, if you remember from last year, we talked a little bit about some geometric shapes. A polygon is a shape with many sides. A polyhedron is a shape with many surfaces. Hedron meaning surfaces. So just be aware that this is a new context of shapes that we're talking about it. They are three-dimensional. They're not flat anymore. They are 3D. So a cube is a six-sided polygon where all six sides are the same size square. So it's kind of easy to think about a cube. A cube is a dice. Um, a cube can be a cardboard box. Anything that has six sides that are all the same size square. Now when you merge all of these sides together, you get what is called a closed figure. And that's also really um, critical to knowing what a cube is. It is a closed figure. And because it's a closed figure, the opposite surfaces or the opposite um, planes of the cube run parallel to each other. So anytime you look at a dice or a box, it has opposite sides. Opposite sides have parallel direction. So it's a little interesting. It's kind of something that differentiates a cube from, say, a trapezoid or a pyramid when, as we're continuing with three-dimensional shapes. So a unit cube is just a cube um, that has been defined as one unit. So a cube defined as one unit. Now, um, the most often you see unit cubes is a centimeter cube. And that just means that each side length is a centimeter in length and width. So you have one tiny little centimeter block. Um, you guys could recognize those from the centimeter squares I give you for testing quizzes. Those are your question cubes. You know, they're the little centimeter squares. Um, sometimes a, a unit can vary. You know, you can give me a three inch square cube and tell me this is one unit. And the reason we define a unit is so that we can describe larger three dimensional shapes in terms of units. So if I have a unit centimeter cube, I can say that um, in order to fill a shoebox, I might need a thousand units. If my unit was bigger, I would need less of those units to fill the shoebox. So it's just a definition. It's just so that we have some sort of measurement to compare things to, just like we have units on a ruler so that we can compare lengths of objects. Okay? A net is the two-dimensional representation of a polyhedron. And it's not quite in the sense that you think it is, because the net needs to be able to fold into this three-dimensional shape. So the two-dimensional version of a cube is not just a square. In fact, the two-dimensional version of a cube, or the net of a cube, is made up of six squares, because a cube has six surfaces. So it's really um, important to think about the number of surfaces a shape has before you start creating its net. 
So if a cube has six surfaces, it absolutely has to have a net with six squares. And a cube is kind of a simple figure to figure out a net for because it does, in fact, have sides that are all the same. And so once you position them, you can kind of visualize certain sides of the cube kind of lifting themselves up towards you. And then kind of this last flap closing the box shut. So, um, you know, if you think about all those sides converging upwards towards the middle, you get the bottom of the box, which is in the middle, all the sides, the four boxes surrounding it, and then the top is that solid green box in the bottom. So it's kind of a visual thing. Um, I will also attach a link to this video, which is a really cool animation of a cube going from a net to um, a three-dimensional shape. So hopefully that will help you to visualize it as well. Moving on, a rectangular prism is also a polyhedron with six sides. But very much like a rectangle, it has a side, two side lengths that are equal, which are also opposite each other, or um, on opposite sides of the shape. So as you can see, I've got two long side lengths here and two short side lengths. So I start out with that rectangle and I wrap it around itself. So there are four rectangles in a polyhedron that are equivalent and then the two ends of the rectangle are also equivalent. So I've got a couple different sides here. I've got this is an end and this is an end and then I have one two, three, four sides that surround the rectangular prism. The base of a polyhedron is the side or the surface which sits on the ground. So that's a pretty straightforward um, concept, you know. On my rectangular prism, here is my base. This last um, explanation you might want to look at for some extra credit. You might want to look at some of these pieces just to see if you can fold them into a cube. It's a pretty cool project, so have fun trying. <laughs>